Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your April 2018 uh, general reading. Soon it'll be your birthday, right? So, here we go. I hope that everyone had a really good March. The end of March now. Let's get into it. Let's start with love. What are the love messages for Taurus? I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. But we'll give the cards a quick shuffle to get started. All right. The sun. The world. Nice. Uh, some positive endings and uh, lessons learned. The death card and the foundation. Yeah. What did I say? Some positive endings. Positive for you. It may have not ended positive, but it was a, a positive shift in energy. Right. And... Uh, the energy for right now is the Page of Pentacles. Um, a message of stability. Something, somebody, you, this is you working on something. Um, something is in its infancy here. All right, in the past was the Page of Swords and the High Priestess. Um, someone may have learned of, of something, some knowledge, uh, by way of spying, and now they're holding on to what they know, or they're guarding what they know. Someone is um, also connecting to spirit to get information to praying, meditating over what they want and how they want things to turn out. So they're getting some downloads here. The near future, the four of wands, some stability. Now, this could be in relationship. It could be in home. It could be in, in job. But uh, there's stability coming in the near future. Your power is the hermit. That's nice. Everybody's been receiving the hermit. Go within. External to you is, external to you is the ace of cups. So there's new love, new friendship, um, spirit, getting closer to spirit. For you getting more spiritual religious or whatever it is you do this is spiritual guidance to seeking out spiritual guidance also going within and just being introspective as to how did what part did I play in uh, this situation all right hopes and fears of course a fear the three of hearts three of swords separation divorce Practicing caution in relationship, uh, jealousy, and fidelity. What's the outcome here for Taurus? The outcome for Taurus. Patience, the temperance card. Um, yeah. You got a lot of spiritual backing. A lot of spiritual backing. A lot of spiritual cards, Taurus. You gotta get your balance back. You're gonna get restoration. Get your emotions back in, in check. Seven of Cups because you were completely confused. Maybe about another earth sign or yourself, the King of Pentacles. You were just confused. What's this Three of Swords in hopes and fears? What is who or what is this in regards to? The Three of Swords, Two of Wands. You may have to separate, divorce, um, and choose a new path with the Two of Wands. The Fire Sign, Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You could be separating from a Fire Sign, or that's just the energy. You know, you're taking on the energy of I have to go. There are endings here. All right, what's the Four of Wands? What's the good news? Four of Wands. What's the stability here? What's the Four of Wands? The hangman. You're not knowing what to do or waiting for enlightenment. I can see that here with the the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, and um, the Temperance and the Outcome. It's like you're waiting for spiritual enlightenment to, to make a move around your stability. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're building something or, or you're wanting to build and partner with someone. Um, okay. All right. 
I might take that back after looking at the other cards. Three of Pentacles, the Empress, the Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Devil, the Fool. Some of you are in third party situations. You need to walk away. You know that you need to walk away, close the door, completely close the door on this situation. You'll get some truth and clarity here with the Ace of Swords. Um, you need to walk away because it's not turning out in your favor for you. Now, Taurus, this is you maybe having a third party or your partner has a third party. Somebody's got a third party. Somebody is throwing the party, as um, House of Oshun would say. Um, definitely third party here. And, and not just third party. You're, like, really trying to establish something here. And they're really looking at what they have established here. This could be you, Taurus. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's something established here, home life, or there's complete and utter happiness here. Even though there are three people, it could be toxic, it could be drama-filled, it could be um, it could be a struggle is what I'm hearing. Some of you could just try a new path. And I can see that here with the two of wands and the three of hearts. Just going to choose to leave it all behind. That's not coming. That won't come without Feeling the grief and the hurt of the Three of Swords. Uh, but knowing that you have to do this for yourself, okay? All right. Let's do spread for career and finance. Thank you for the messages for tours for career and finance. How does career and finance look for tours? Career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance for tours. What are the messages for tours for career and finance? King of Wands, nice. Some of you could be entrepreneurs. You could have a really innovative idea. You're trying to get things in order. You're the boss where you are uh, in your life. Um, this is either at an established company that either you own or you're working for another company, but you're looked at as a leader. Um, you get things done. You can organize the people. King of Wands, nice. Nice energy, especially for those who are entrepreneurs. Or plan to be the King of Cups death card. The Seven of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Some of you are dealing on a job. Ooh, these just fell out. Eight of Cups and then Seven of Cups. This is supposed to be career and finance. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be career and finance, but looks like a little bit of everything. Um, it looks like you're standing your ground in something or on something. Um, there's complete transformation in your in your career sector you you're doing what you love but there might be an ending here or just how or transformation and how you you do that and, and like that transformation could be you choosing to become an entrepreneur you're going to stand your ground with that you're going to speak your truth with that move forward with that with the queen of swords here um make very decisive just and fair decisions surrounding what you need to do to get this established walk away from a situation it's like you're walking away from a job situation that for anyone else looking on the outside is cushy it's great it's it you know what are you doing is will be the question that people would pose to you but the seven of cups is you have options here you know it um and you're tired of being confused about 
you know, why why do I feel this certain way when I come to work? Why do I feel like not being here? Three of Pentacles, nice. Yeah, you, you might even have a business partner or be looking to partner with someone in business. Ten of Wands, nice. You're going to lay down the burden that is the old job. Like I said, you could be thinking, like, high priestess, um, you listen to your intuition. If it's telling you, Hey, it's time to move on this idea you've had for years, months. Hey, man, you're a hangman status. You're waiting for enlightenment via this high priestess. Keep praying. Keep meditating about this. The devil, you, you feel tied. You feel like a ball and chain is, is on you, the ace of swords. But the sun is here saying what you're thinking about doing is good. It's positive. We'll back you. It was what the universe says, the three of wands. Let go of the old, embrace the new. Because there's so much more for you on the horizon. Nine of pentacles, nice. Um, it can take you to a place of, or you could already be here, but no, this is independence. Wow. It could take you to a place of independence. Financially, emotionally, spiritually, you get up in the morning and you feel good. The king of swords, uh, you could be in a legal profession, um, justice profession. Um, the king of swords is the is a good decision making de decision maker. He is um, nice. That looks really good for career and finance. He's a decision maker. He is a leader. He's right underneath the emperor. He's um. He's just, he's fair, he's got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords cuts out stuff that no longer serves her. If, it, if it's a job situation and you know you want to be somewhere else, either, either with another position or another company or doing your own thing, the cards say you just have to get this in action. There's not a lot of wands cards. There's a lot of you getting your thoughts and your emotions aligned so that you can then move in that direction and that would be the wands um and then we can see the physical manifestation with the pinnacles all right so if some of you are thinking about leaving moving careers shifting careers it's here for you it says it's a go you got to really organize yourself though all right um let's see what Taurus should be focused on going forward. What should Taurus be focused on going forward? What should my Taurus people be focused on for the near future? Going forward, near future, going forward. What should they be focused on? Justice. Things being right for you. Going right for you. Eight of Cups. Because you walked away from a situation. Then here's you. Higher from, walked away from a situation that no longer served you. The Tower. The universe is going to help you walk away because sometimes Taurus has a hard time leaving a bad situation. Uh, yeah. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords. It's like an unexpected event comes in that helps clear the energy, helps you see even clearer. And someone comes back in offering their level of truth to you, you know, trying to get you back. It looks like you're not taking to it. They missed their opportunity with you. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, death card right underneath them. Yeah. Um, focus on the fact that justice will prevail for you, uh, Taurus. Stay spiritually grounded. Stay grounded. Uh, stay spiritually minded because the universe is really working on your side and on your behalf to enact some justice for you because maybe in the recent past you felt like things just happened and you were just wondering why. Five of Pentacles, yeah, you cut somebody out and not taken to their offer um, because, you know, high priest is nice. The higher friend, the high priest is nice. Um, Listen to your intuition. It's telling you right. You're not crazy. You're not thinking of things. You're thinking clearly. And you might need to cut something or someone out. Job situation, big corporation, 
over a marriage, walking away from marriage. Here we have the justice and the eight of cups. Some of you are divorcing um, because of this unexpected event. And somebody just comes right back in trying. It could be an air sign. Could, comes right back in trying to offer what at their level of rationale and reasoning, trying to pull you back in. But it looks like you're not taken to the offer. So, Taurus, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, request a personal reading. My email address is below. My rates are below. Everything is below. Um, follow me on Instagram. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. All right, Taurus, remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. It looks like you guys are doing a lot of praying anyhow. All right, take care, guys.